Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to see how we can load up large LM models on lower resources. So if you are struggling to load large LM models on your laptop or in a collab, so this video is for you. If you are struggling to load the models like uh, Palm or Bloom or T5 or any such high uh, trained billion parameters model, then you can easily do it with just one line of code. But due to the hardware resource constraints, we are unable to do so. So if you see the examples that I'm showing it out on the screen, uh, the Palm model itself is a 540 billion parameters and Bloom is 176 parameters and uh, YAM is 100 billion parameters. And if you see GPT Neo X is 20 billion parameters and GPT 2 is just 1 billion parameters. Even loading such huge models in your uh, 4 GB or 10 GB GPU won't be enough. So we need to have some different techniques to load up that particular model on your uh, uh, resources so that you can take an inference or fine tune it. So there are different methods that you can take up. I'm going to show up one of the methods that, that is being implemented by Hugging Face only. So we are going to see that thing in, in this particular tutorial. So before we move into that particular uh, notebook, I just want to uh, show some statistics like how big the problem is actually. So let's suppose if you want to load a blue model of 176 billion parameters, then you would need at least 8 GB, 80 GBs of 8 GPUs. And then if you want to fine tune that blue 176 billion parameter model, you have to have 70, 72 GB of GPUs. I mean 72 GPUs available. How insane it is. Like if you want to just train or fine tune a blue model, you would need 72 GPUs. And for inferencing, you would need 80 GPUs, 80 GB of 8 GPUs to get an inference out of it. So that that is that seems to be very impossible to do so. But with just simple line of code, we can just take up these blue models or these heavy models and load up in our memory. So let us see how this can be done. So first, let me show up the problem that exists when you try to load up the model by default. So this is an official notebook that is being shared by the hugging face to, to, to demo it out. So we are going to use the same notebook for our own purpose. But this time we are going to just see how this, this failure occurs when you try to load up the model from, uh, uh, from hugging face. And uh, if you see, there are a few installations that we need to do. Uh, you have to install bits and bytes, transformers, accelerate and center piece. So once you install this, uh, this particular libraries, this is going to be helpful in uh, in utilizing the resources and managing the resources at the back end. So this is very important installation. And then we are going to use T5 11 billion model, which is actually 42 GB of model, which cannot be loaded in the collab environment itself because collab environment itself just has uh, 12 GB of uh, GP available and 12 GB of RAM available, right? So uh, that's not possible to do it over here in collab. But let's run this and then we're going to see how we can load this 11, 11 billion parameter T5 model by using some parameters so that it can be loaded and it can be compressed into uh, like 5 GB of model or even uh, 11 GB of model. So we're going to see that. Uh, but let's just witness the problem that is associated with the loading of such huge models. So I'm going to just specify this T5 11 billion model and I'm just going to use hugging face auto model uh, loading and auto tokenizer so that I can load the model uh, from the checkpoints that are available. So if I try to load this particular model from directly from uh, the hugging face without specifying any kind of parameter, if you see, it will try to load some uh, model parameters, but eventually it's gonna fail while downloading such huge models and it's gonna, it's, it's gonna say some uh, error. So let's just witness that particular error and let's wait for that particular collab to fail. Okay, so you can see uh, it has downloaded all the weights that were available and then once it has downloaded and then it was trying to load up into the GPU memory and the, even the RAM and you can see it uh, the collab has got collapsed due to the unavailability of the resources. So if you see on the left hand side bottom, your session has crashed after using all the available RAM. So it is asking me to upgrade the collab to collab pro. So we can load up this particular mod in a different way. So let's just try that out and let me just recurrent this particular 
collab notebook with uh, the, with the particular resources so let me refresh this particular environment again and then we'll try to load up that particular model in a different way by specifying some different parameters right so let me just reconnect this uh, refresh this particular uh, notebook okay so let me reinstall this particular dependencies and then we'll try to load up the uh, model again okay so we are going to load up the same model uh, t5 11 billion parameters and then uh, you can see uh, we are trying to use the same code that we used to load up the model but right now while using or while loading the model from auto model uh, parameter functions uh, we are going to specify some different arguments so let me just specify those arguments and this will just lead us to uh, quantize the model that is available uh, of 11 billion parameters into uh, 11 gb of model so in, essentially the model was uh, 42 gb and then by using this simple argument uh, we are going to quantize the particular model into an 11 gb of model and we can easily load that particular 11 gb model in the collab environment so in short this particular heavy model of 40 G, 42 gb of model it's going to be quantized into a uh, 11 gb of model by removing the floating points of 32 into an integer 8 so indirectly uh, the weight strain that the weights that are that are trained with floating 12 uh, we are going to convert that floating 12 uh, bytes of precision to the integer 8 precisions and that's how we're going to compress the model into a different uh, uh, directory and then we are going to load up the particular model uh, by using this uh, uh, quantizations so that's the processing that it is doing and we are going to load that particular model in an 8 bit format of integer 8 so we are going, we are not going to use that particular a floating system uh, model uh, because uh, it will essentially not going to help us to load up the model in our environment right and it will lead us to some decrement in the accuracy as well because we are not using the precise model we are just trying to quantize that particular model so it will have some impact on on the model accuracy but definitely it's not going to deviate the model accuracy in in such a di difference manner right so as per the hugging phase if you scroll down to this particular uh, uh, blog you want to see that there is not much difference occurred when you try to convert the model from uh, the original uh, floating point 16 or floating point 32 to the uh, integer 8 so there's a difference is very less that means there is a little accuracy drop but it's, it's not that making much impact on the uh, model uh, inferencing so that's how we're gonna load that particular model and then it will take few seconds to download it so let us wait for it okay so the model has been loaded successfully into the memory and now we can use it for our inferencing so t5 model is a very generative model and we can pass some translation text to it to, to do the processing on the t5 model right so we are going to pass a translation from english to german so and we'll pass a text with it so that it will help us to, uh, to translate the uh, the particular English sentence into a German sentence, right? So uh, that's the input that you are going to give into the T5 model that we were not able to uh, use it until now. We we use the quantized model, right? So uh, we are going to pass this particular uh, sentence into the quantized model, and then we are going to see whether it's able to give the output or not. So you can see it has successfully generated the output and converted converted the english sentence into the german sentence right so it's it's working so before this you saw that we were unable to load that particular model on the gpu and now by using the quantized approach we can we can load the particular model into the any hardware that supports the uh, quantizations uh, model right so so this is how you can uh, do the simple uh, trick to use uh, your gp memory and load uh, a heavy model into it so i think this is very useful feature by hugging face and you can load huge models into the collab environment at least and you can work on that particular model and test the model uh, by your own uh, data set and then you can utilize it for your own purposes so i think it will be a very useful uh, feature to know uh, to load up such huge models and start working with it so that's it that's that's about this particular video i hope you enjoyed this thank you